Hey everybody, Derek from At Gaming. Once again, I'm here. Welcome back. First of all, I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel. I want to thank everybody on the Discord server that's been keeping that alive. It means a lot to me. It means the world. Um, you know, I recently uh, got a new job and, you know, I've been struggling a little bit. You know, schedules are kind of crazy. But hey, I'm back and I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, just continue where I left off and uh, especially with new things coming up with the uh, M2 but that's that I'll discuss in another video. So uh, what we're looking at today is Silent Hill Homecoming. Now those of you who've been here for a while already know that this is one of those games that I usually test it on every single live event because I'm a fan of Silent Hill games. You know, we've been testing them for PS2, PS3, you know, the uh, remakes, the collections, you know, we've been testing it all. And this was one of those games that we weren't able to actually play because the sound was broken. And, you know, I would update the build like every single day. And, you know, no matter what update came out, it, it, the sound was just broken. But now, you know, I, I loaded the game and I was really happy to see that the game was actually, you know, the sound was working. It was fixed. No more cracking. No more, like, stuttering with the music and the sound and, and the sound effects and all that. However, the existing issues regarding, let's say, you know, these, uh, you know, there's some glitching going on. Um, reflections, textures showing up and disappearing. Even we still have that issue with the flashlight. You guys can see sometimes the player's flashlight light will reflect upon um, objects in the room in the area you are but in this case um, it's the same it's just it's very dark there are still lighting issues and um, you know at least in my opinion the fact that the sound was fixed and the sound effects were fixed is just it's already a uh, significant uh, improvement so yeah that's what this is all about you know just you know evaluating how the emulator is evolving which is now official you know now you can download it off the rpcs3 website no no longer need to download the um the builds but yeah i like to see how you know everything evolves through time now also i want to add that i've added a new metric to the uh, video you guys can see in the bottom right screen of the video it's the ambient temperature now why am i doing this well this was actually a suggestion from one of my users let's say a few months ago he wanted to know like yeah okay you know you're showing the uh, temperature for the m1 mac you're showing uh uh, the CPU, the RAM, the frame rate, but you know, like, okay, you're getting this specific temperature, but what about your room temperature? And I'm like, yeah, you're right, you know, so I, I should start looking at that. And I do have to say that when I started all the videos we did, the live events, all that was in the winter, you know, and it was like, it was much cooler than it is now. So as you guys can see right now, the uh, game is running, well, the actually the uh, M1 SOC is running at 76 degrees and the ambient temperature is just about 28 degrees, which is pretty warm. But um, where I live, it does get very, very warm in the summer. So this will also help us um, see if there is an impact on performance, especially thermal throttling with the M1 chip, which we all know on the M1 MacBook Air has no active cooling. We will be able to see if you know the uh, warmer summers will um, have, as I said earlier, have a significant impact on performance if we uh, are to see uh, drops in frame rate or even um, if the system throttles uh, faster than it would if uh, the room were to be at, let's say, 18 degrees Celsius or, you know, that 10, 10 to 12 degrees difference that could uh, occur between the summer and the winter. So, uh, yeah, from now on, I will be adding the, that information on the videos, which I find to be, you know, somewhat interesting because you know not everybody lives in the same part of the world not everybody has air conditioning and you know this being the uh fanless m1 macbook air well you know it's always interesting to see how it's going to behave um you know given different um you know uh conditions you know it's not the same summer winter autumn spring uh northern hemisphere southern hemisphere uh, if you live in uh, egypt or if you live in finland right so guys i'm really happy to be back um i'm also looking forward to making a quick video on the m2 uh, macbook air which is coming out shortly that's going to be lots of fun we're going to see if um uh, if there's you know if there's a significant uh, let's say boost in performance regarding the base model m1 macbook air but um all of that we'll see soon in more videos that i'm to upload so guys as usual thank you once again for staying with me while i've been off the grid and please enjoy the rest of the video